Good afternoon, uh, afternoon everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and I just wanted to do a spy review here. It is, I, I'm in the middle of a class actually, but I just saw something that I, I just don't want to forget. My mind is just going here and I just don't want to forget everything that I'm saying so I need to record it. Uh, so I just saw here that the level that the market's at in the spy is a new buy area. I didn't see it till like two seconds ago and I decided to do a video here and I'm in the middle of the class, but I don't want to forget what my brain is seeing here now. So this level here is a new buy. And, and I didn't think that that was until the second ago I just saw it. I didn't, I knew we would get over the area. I mean, I absolutely knew that. And I knew that 215 was the next target. I knew we'd get up over 213, but I just saw this here just because I'm, I'm reading this. As I'm teaching, I was teaching and reading and talking and then I just saw it. And so it's real. Anyways, this level is a buy area in the market for a new buy. What does that mean? That means that new money is going to flow into the market there that was never there before. And it's going to be institutional money that's going to lift the market higher. That will continue it. So you could actually go long the market, like right at this area, and be in it long. And that's going to take you up again to these numbers I've been discussing, 275, 300. And, and what is crazy is that many people think that they would never buy the market here. Never, 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 never because of this. They would never buy it here. But the original thing I saw back, I think it was like in March, where I realized, yeah, I, it's all coming together now. Because in March I saw that this level was going to hold for, for the rest of the year. And, and, and then I saw like in March that it was probably going to hold for a long time. And now that I just realized that this is a new buy area, that you could actually go on the market as a new buy, I'm seeing that the possibility that this is something that could last for years. Like it could be two years, it could be three years, it could be five years, it could be 10 years. This could last for a decade that this low could be set here in the market at this point. And the reason I'm saying that, and I was just talking, that's why I was like, I got to tape myself talking here so I don't forget what I saw. The drop off that happened here that fell and broke. All right, let's just go back. This was a gap down, this was a gap down. Fell, 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 this was a gap down here. Look at this, rallied up, but couldn't hold it. Gap down, gap down. And I remember every day in here when we were falling red and gapping down, and then there's a gap down here. This is last fall, I kept looking to make sure that I wasn't missing something. I did not expect us to break this far. We did. And I knew that when we would, we would get over it quickly. We literally did. Within three trading days, we were 80% over the drop off. And that is how things work when they go, when they go, okay? Like this took really three weeks. And this took three days. This happened in a month. This happened in less than a week. You see that? Anyways, what I was just seeing here was, okay, so this drop and broke and fell. Rallied, rallied, made a new high, which I knew. Then I saw in here we'd, rally, we'd run the whole year of 2015, and then I started the swing trade letter. And then we literally made this crazy high. Is it some FMC announcement thing and it was in December? And that, that set the high for the year. I, I thought we'd get over it, but we just, it was just the holidays and we didn't. Then we came down in here and retested it. And when I saw that we retested this area then, just now as I was talking and I was realizing it, that's the other thing that's giving me the confirmation and the conviction. Because this action here, this drop off, this break, this push over the high, this come in and here, the hold. And now this look here that I'm seeing, this really is a new buyer. Like this is all just giving a confirmation. This is a new buyer in the market. And this is what people think is the target. That's what I find so amazing about the stuff that I see. Like people are saying 220, 225. And I'm telling you at 215, you could buy the market as a new buy that could hold for a long time. And, and people are saying that that's $5 away from the high, that it will crash around 220, 225. It's not going to. It's not going to. New money will come in and lift the market over that area that will be new buying. It's not going to be the end. It is going to be the beginning of something that you could actually buy, which I didn't see till just a moment ago, although I knew the market would keep going higher. And I did see these numbers and I knew it would rally and the continuation would follow through. But I just saw there that you could actually buy the market here like a, this is actually a good buy, actually. This is a good buy, okay, in the market here. A solid, solid buy, meaning not too late. And, and people are not going to do it. 
They just are not going to do it. So what's going to happen is people will not do it because they think that this is done and extended and it's not. And this is just giving me the confirmation that, of what I originally saw back in March. I just never, never thought that the timing of this could actually last for as long as I see that it is really probably going to last. And we're going to see a bullish market that is far beyond anyone's expectations. And I don't know what it's going to mean for the economic times in the world. I don't even I don't even know, but I'm just saying like we're going to see an unprecedented time of bullishness in the market and lift and rallying and through a presidential period is going to happen in the next two years. And 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 I knew that we would see for 2015, like I knew that we'd rally all this year and we will. But I just never thought that this can continue far beyond here what I'm seeing. And now that I see that this is a new buy, I know that it will because new money doesn't come into the market and leave it immediately unless there's a war, or some calamity or something unforeseen that nobody can expect. And you don't plan for things like that. You, you can't. It's an unknown factor. That's why trading is at risk. But I'm just saying here, this is actually a place you could buy the market. And it is a place that no one's going to buy except for the institutions. And then everyone's going to see it rally and think it's over. And not read it as what it is. It's just really new money. And then later at some point, when the rally continues and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going, then people are going to feel like they're missing it. And the market's going to be talked about so much as being bullish that then people will jump in. And whenever that happens, and I have no idea when, it probably will be sometime later this year, fall, end of the year, I don't know, that will lift the market to these other crazy numbers I'm talking about. Whether it gets up over 300 this year or it just hits up 275-ish, the people that will buy will buy late. But if, if you really know what you're doing, you would buy right here. And and this sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, this is a this is a great buy in the market right in here. Right, 215. And you could, you, you know, you should be long this already, but I'm just saying, if you didn't go long it and you felt that you missed it and you've been trying to short this and you're thinking about shorting it now, it's just not the right thing to do. This is actually a new buy. What else was the thing that I saw? I can't believe I just saw this might last like a decade. What is it? It's 2015. We can have a bullish run that lasts past the year of 2020. It's 2015. I think, I think the market could b run bullishly. I think we could have a five year, huge, immense bullish run in the market. It could last another decade. I mean, we have already been running up here. All the money that people lost in their 401ks when they when this all collapsed, they could, if they had held everything and held everything and kept holding everything and held through everything, they would get it all back and more. And you know what? That's what it is about the market. I mean, that's you got to be able to ride the waves and the downturns and understand what's going on. And and it, and, and you just got to know how to do it. And if you don't know how to do it, then you put your money with someone that does know how to do it. Uh, but I don't take people's money. I just do my own thing. But I'm sure a lot of people are not advising people to buy here and, and the market to buy. So this is Melissa with the stockswitch.com. This is, I just wanted to look here very quickly at this buy because I just wanted to remember my thoughts. I couldn't possibly write them all down. This is a new buy point here for the market and it's a good one. This level here will not be broken for a long time, which I kind of saw back in March a long time, but now I'm seeing it could last for like five years or more past 2020 in, 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 in our lifetime that the market could really have a run and, and could go to some unprecedented number and, and everybody's going to want to jump into it. It's going to be everybody jumping on the bandwagon. And the thing that's going to be so strange about the timing of everything and the, is that no one's going to be able to predict any. People like to make reasons for things. They like to rationalize. They like to theorize. They like to talk and talk and talk. I don't say why I think something's doing something. I say what the price is doing. And I explain the price, what it is doing and why the price is doing that. But I don't say this is doing this because of this is happening in the world. Because you could talk and have a million different opinions of why something's doing something or not based on whatever. Earnings, the world, the economy, countries, whatever. The reality is all that matters is what the price is doing. And that's how you know what it's doing and where it's going. But the thing I want to say is like back in the 90s when the market had the massive bull run and it did, there was all that tech bubble. And people really rationalized then why that was happening. Everybody wanted to jump and buy back into the market then. And it all made sense. The thing that's so interesting about this, and the reason this is such a great call that I'm making here, because is because it is so, the 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 fact that I can even predict this is I, I am so destined to do this. This is there's no way that I could be able to predict this other than the fact that I'm great at reading gaps because there's no reason that you could legitimize for why this is going to happen. But I'm telling you that it is because there isn't going to be one thing that happens that makes this happen. It's not going to be like that. It's not going to be like in the '90s, and that's what's going to be unprecedented, and it, because this is unpredictable. I'm predicting it, but it's unpredictable. 
And I'm predicting something that's actually unpre- – there's no way to, for me to predict this other than the fact that I can read money very well. And, and, I'm, and I'm telling you, I just saw it. This is a new buy point here at 215. This is so exciting. This could last past 2020. <laughs> and there's not going to be any reason for it that people are going to be able to come up with. And that's why people are going to miss it because they're not going to be able to rationalize in their mind that they should buy here because they think it's late and then the run is up and then it's not going to go on and they can't understand why it's going to go on. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is understand price in the market if you want to make money. That's all you need to know. And thank goodness that's all I need to know. I wouldn't even have time to do anything or have a life if I had to read every report or every, watch every news thing or read every article or every newspaper or every television show. I wouldn't have time to have a life. I wouldn't even have time to sleep or eat or exercise. It doesn't matter. All you have to know is how to read price in the live market and charts and if you know how to do that you can make money and you can predict things and i just predicted right now and it's going to come out to be true because everything i've said about this market is predicted to come out to be true and every time i've set a new number a new high it's predicted is come out to be true the reason this is going to be so massive is because of the unpredictability of it because it's almost impossible to be able to predict it but i just did so we'll see what happens this is melissa with the stockswitch.com have a great day everyone